I'm going to give you guys a quick intro on Modest Mechanics. Uh, I'm Mark. I've been a professional diesel mechanic for about 10 years. Although diesel work pays the bills, I spent a lot of my free time fixing and repairing uh, lawn equipment, tractors, chainsaws, and gas vehicles. To my surprise, I realized I love uh, small engines, gas, diesel, and anything to do with it. I started a pair business about four or five years ago uh, for my garage. I call it Modest Mechanics. It's really amazing to me the items and engines people are throwing away. Most of the videos on this channel, I hope, will be repurposed engines uh, and metal fabrication from recycled material. I don't have a lot of fancy tooling, and I hope this content really appeals to the do-it-yourselfer. Now, with this out of the way, uh, we could focus on the Black Widow go-kart. All right, this is my Black Widow go-kart. It was produced by a company called American Sportworks. It came with a 136cc engine that had about 4 horsepower. Top speed is about 24 miles per hour. Had your basic pull start no electronics. Uh, came with no motor, a whole bunch of leaves, and a seat that had Black Widows living in it. All right, around the same time, I also received a 10 horsepower Briggs & Stratton pressure washer in the shop for repair. Identified the water pump was bad. The customer didn't want to spend uh, time or money on the unit, uh, so he donated it to me for free. I decided that since I needed an engine for the Black Widow, that I would focus on this neglected engine and get it running and see if it was a good candidate for the build. A little bit of maintenance, I got the engine running. I didn't like the intake or the exhaust, but I liked the metal case that the pressure washer came in. So I decided I'd utilize that for the engine mount. So I mounted the engine to the engine plate, and you can see it's a good fit. Had a starter uh, mounted, the exhaust, uh, and a carburetor. It's important to note that I also had a 10 horsepower vertical shaft engine off another donated lawnmower. It had a charging system, uh, the flywheel with the magnets, uh, and a solenoid and a turnkey ignition. So that meant I could add all my bells and whistles, uh, lights, a charging system, and electric start. So that was beneficial. I purchased and installed a 30 series torque converter. Fit right on where the pressure washer pump previously had mounted. After installing the stator flywheel and starter, I decided I would paint the case. I think it turned out pretty nice. It shows gloss black uh, with red accents. I'm not a big fan of the updraft style carburetor that came on the pressure washer, so I decided I would use another carburetor. I used the carburetor off of 17 and a half horsepower, uh, Briggs and Stratton. Uh, it also had a pulse pump, so I decided I'd use that too so I could mount the gas tank uh, where I wanted and the engine vacuum would uh, distribute fuel to the carburetor. Next, I mounted the gas tank to the engine. I mounted the engine to the plates. I welded the plates to the go-kart and I modified the intake. Here's a top view of my carburetor linkage and my return spring. The linkage on the right that's disconnected is for my choke. I always have a fear that my choke cable is going to interfere with my throttle cable and it's going to get pinned open and it's going to run away. So I only hook that up when I need it. All I had left to do was to wire it up and fire it up. I had an old battery box lying around. I utilized an ignition off an old lawn tractor, made a headlight switch, an underglow light switch, had a horn some other project and just added a horn button. I made a battery tray for the go-kart, uh, mounted a solenoid that I had from a previous build. I think it turned out okay. I used the rubber strap that I had laying around for a uh, tie down for the battery. The only thing left to do was to fire it up and test the electrical system. control my brake light and tail light function, I used a lawnmower seat safety switch and zip tied it to the brake pedal. May got a little carried away, but I also decided to add uh, underglow lights. So this cart rode uh, pretty well and achieved top speeds around 40 miles an hour. Um, I gave it hell for about a year and a half. I took it places like Busco Beach, which is pretty um, severe terrain, uh, did exceptional. Uh, I was pretty proud of it. Um, today, somewhere along the line, it uh, developed uh, oil leaks. So I got a bad oil leak around the governor shaft seal. Um, and when I give it gas, the oil dipstick is actually launching out of the engine. 
So I need to check that. Um, I know the cause is an increased uh, crankcase pressure. Uh, I'm not really sure what's causing it. It could be maybe uh, out of spec rings or maybe the cylinder's damaged, but I'm pretty sure combustion gases are getting into the crankcase. Uh, this engine is from 1994. It's almost 30 years old. Uh, it's time to crack it open and refresh it. So that's what I'm gonna do uh, next time is an engine overhaul. Thank you for watching.